I'm Ashton Raby with Tanemic Technical Services. Today we're going to go over Series 66 and how to apply that. We're going to go over both airless application and as well as conventional. So Series 66 is a polyamide epoxy. It's good for priming most substrates, anything from steel, CMU, drywall. Um, good penetrating primer. It can also be used as an intermediate coat and then we'll get top coated with a typical urethane top coat. First step is getting both your components, your part A and your part B. You're gonna open both of these and then you're gonna have your thinner ready. So we measured out at 13 ounces for the thinner. That's gonna be about 5% for two gallons. Series 66 pot life is going to be 10 hours at your 75 degrees. Temperature is going to affect that. Um, the hotter it is, the less pot life you're going to have. With that pot life, that's going to be your working time when that material is in mass. When that material is reduced, you'll have a little bit more time, a little bit um, more spray life. But in mass, you'll have that 10 hours at 75 degrees. So these have been taken straight from the factory, so they should all be fresh, but we're gonna double check and make sure there's no settling, no separation. Pot life is the amount of time you will have before the material starts kicking over and curing. Now we're gonna pre-mix the Series 66 Part B. Make sure there's no settling on the bottom. So now we're gonna dump each component into your mixing container. That'll be one gallon of A. Scraping the inside to make sure that all the material is in the bucket. You'll want to add the part B to the part A while under agitation. We're going to start with the slower speed while incorporating the part B into the part A. And then we will mix at a rapid speed once both components are in the container. Once both components are fully incorporated, we'll add our thinner slowly. After the thinner is added, you want it to fully incorporate with the part A and part B. For conventional spray, our pressure pot is gonna be set from 10 to 20 PSI. Our air gun is gonna be set at from 50 to 80 PSI. For demonstration purposes today, we'll be applying the paint to a drywall panel that was previously primed with Series 66. For series 66, we're shooting from a range anywhere between 4 to 11 mils. 